What's up Grapper fans? I just got done showing y'all how I installed this newly painted bumper. I got this thing all nice and freshened up with a professional paint job and I got no more rock chips, scratches, anything on it. This thing was horrible before. This front bumper has a bunch of rock chips that I pointed out in my review video of this thing. You can see it's relatively clean right now. Everything you see is a rock chip pretty much. There's not much else. There's no bug guts on it right now. And then right here, I've got this big old scratch that I'm wanting to get rid of. Very excited about how that came out. And I got them to hook me up with the extra paint. So I got a little bit of touch up paint and I'm gonna try to take care of some of these rock chips. Now this truck has definitely been driven down some dirt roads, out in the desert, something. It has got a ton of rock chips all over the thing. Uh, probably the most noticeable one is this one here. Uh, but we also have a ton of tiny ones that if you get at the right angle this thing is just destroyed and it also looks like he ran over some uh, some fresh white paint on the highway at some point so I uh, just kind of wiped this down with some quick detail and got rid of all the road grime and I'm gonna hit it with some uh, mineral spirits and just try to get it real cleaned up and just see if I can do anything about all those little rock chips because talking to the paint shop they pretty much recommended repainting the whole truck because I got it behind each tire. I got little ones here and there. It's just so many rock chips. I'm going to try to make it look decent, but it's not going to be perfect. But I mean, just look at this. They're everywhere. This thing has been destroyed, sandblasted out in the desert. I'll try to point a couple more of them out to you. But I've been looking at a couple different, you know, videos and getting some tips on what to do. Nobody's got rock chips this bad. Pretty much this is like something you'd repaint but I'm gonna try a couple of different techniques and let y'all know what works for me see if I can make this look any better here's uh, some on the other side here but it's it's bad I'm starting with seeing how much I can get out of the clear coat with just a little bit of compound by hand I don't have a buffer or anything I haven't gotten that involved with uh, this detailing gig yet but I have a little bit of compound from a while back when I took off my door molding on my first truck Maybe my second, but I used that to clear up underneath, and some of y'all recommended that on this one, but it did not work out. When I took the, the door molding off here, it did not look right under there, and I tried compound, didn't cut it. But back here, I've got some stained, like soot, pretty much on the tailgate uh, area, bumper, everything back here, this rear quarter from the exhaust. And uh, that's one thing I don't really like about the side exit exhaust. And I've cleaned this. This is clean here. And you can see here, I just hit this with compound a little bit, but it's kind of it's kind of doing the trick of getting this black smoke stain off of here. So just so y'all know, if y'all have that issue, um, I'm doing it with my left hand here, but you can see it kind of will get that black smoke stain off of there. So I'm going to get as much of it cleaned up as I can and then just see what's left. While I'm out here addressing these rock chips on my 2014 Platinum F250, I found some... Uh, slung up paint from the road where someone had driven over freshly painted white lines on the highway and it's been on there for a long time and it was dry I thought it was never coming off and once I started cleaning up the area getting ready to touch up the rock chips it really stood out I could see it and let me show you what they look like I've already gotten a few of them off though so here are these raised little paint chunks that flew up off of the road and they are not really coming off they are very stuck on there and I've actually removed some from this area already let me wipe the, the surface a little bit this whole area was covered you can see it's closest to the tire and it was just full of paint and I got it off and I want to show y'all how it actually comes off pretty easy with just a non-metallic scraper so this particular scraper I was using to put some uh, quick crete on a crack in my sidewalk that's a tongue twister so I've got it uh, taped up to make sure I don't get any of the residue on it uh, on the paint but I've got the tip all nice and cleaned up and you can see it is uh, surface safe in my opinion so I'm going to show you all real quick how quick and easy it can be to get this stuck on paint and this is some serious paint that stays on highways for years but I'm going to get it off of this clear coat and paint without scratching it at all and I'll show you all how it looks I thought for sure this was never coming off but with the uh, corner of this scraper is making light work of this stuck on paint come at it from this way so y'all can see it
coming right off. Now it's going to leave a little residue and uh, once I get these all off, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of compound, buff it out a little bit, and get rid of what's left and then if you have anything more you just hit it with the scraper again. Uh, but I'm getting the big chunks off right now for y'all. I'll keep cleaning it up and I'll show you how it looks. Much better. Still a long way to go to be perfect though with all the issues I already had underneath that. It's hot out here. That seemed to work pretty well. I got all the paint off uh, to my liking. There's a couple little specks here and there but you really can't see it anymore whereas it was like really sticking out where it was noticeable if you look straight down at it. But got that cleaned up. I've got a little bit of compound on all the surrounding scratches so I can tell what is a rock chip. Uh, and it looks like pretty much everything that I showed y'all is still a rock chip. So I'm going to try to go to town on that with the paint, a little clear coat mixed in with some Q-tips. So we'll see if I can get some of these rock chips gone and at least make it look better with just this little bit of paint I got, some Q-tips, and a couple little tips. So let me try this out and show y'all, see if this technique works. I've been working on these rock chips for a little while, trying to get my technique down and making sure I don't mess the thing up before I show y'all how... I'm fixing these severe rock chips because this is the worst like rock chip damage I've ever seen. There's a ton of bare metal and pretty much my only options were to deal with it or repaint most of the truck, basically the whole thing because it's on, you know, this fender, that door, you know, it's pretty much everything but the back doors need to be redone because it's the whole bed, there's a wasp going crazy. It's pretty much like the fender, the front doors, and the bed and like the bumpers so I already got the front bumper and I'm trying to take care of these rock chips by myself let me show you what I came up with on this driver side back section I wanted to do it first because you got the exhaust tip on the other side that kind of uh, draws attention figured this was like the most discreet place I didn't want to mess it up and it'd be super noticeable but from here I think it looks freaking awesome I don't know what y'all think but I think I pretty much nailed it best I could now let's get a little closer. The rock chips are still there. They're just white now. And, you know, up close, it still, you know, looks like the surface of the moon. It's not, it's not beautiful. But, I don't have any bare metal now. And, you know what? It's pretty darn fresh. Now the bumper, I still need to hit that with a little bit of compound on this side. So it's like a little bit dark with the white on it but I'd rather have white rock chips than bare metal rock chips I also removed this uh, paint protective film that comes on here because it was so stained and everything and now I have a nice fresh uh, piece of paint here that's just factory paint with the film removed there it does give you a little bit of a contrast here I maybe should have left it but once I was done with this it looked so good I had this black like strip here I decided to remove it let me show you on the other side So again, this is what they looked like before. Oh, we got a nice spider chilling over here. But this is how bad the rock chips were. And you can see this film here. It looked just like that. So once I got it all white, it wasn't looking too high. I decided to remove that on the uh, rear corner here as well as on the um, bumper. But I'm going to try to do the same treatment here. And it's a long process, but let me show you all what I've been doing. Real quick, just based on what the sun is doing, and my schedule I may have to go drive somewhere I'd like to do one side at a time if I end up getting stuck in the middle so I don't just have like you know rock chips in the front but not in the back I'd like to have one side at least done so I'm actually gonna move to the driver's side front here which is a little risky because that is the most noticeable spot if somebody's looking at this thing it's gonna be the first thing you see let me show you how bad these are once again this whole leading edge the bottom of the door here and uh, this corner down here of the cab, the fender. I'm gonna try to get this all freshened up. And it's actually a smaller area than the back, so I'm hoping that'll help me out, but it just looks bad. It, it, there's so much bare metal that it's like a different color right there, just from even from a distance you can see. It does not look good, so let's get started. I'll show you what all it takes. Here's what all I'm using. As y'all saw, I used some compound to make sure I didn't have just some clear coat scratches. But unfortunately, pretty much everything is a rock chip. I got some mineral spirits, uh, which I'm about out of. I may have to switch to rubbing alcohol if this doesn't uh, last the rest of the project. I got a rag for each of those. Here's my 
freshly mixed up paint from when the bumper was done the other day and I got a big brush for some of the bigger spots. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set the camera up. Hopefully y'all can see this well enough. I'm going to start by cleaning the whole area with mineral spirits to make sure the paint will actually stick. Nothing too crazy there. Just get that cleaned up. I already uh, kind of detailed this area to make sure there was nothing really stuck here, but just the mineral spirits really just helps it uh, stick that much better, but it also can remove it, so you want to make sure the mineral spirits dries before you start slapping paint on there. I'm starting with this really messed up area right here uh, where the rock chips are so bad, it's just solid bare metal. And uh, this isn't the most noticeable spot either, so I'm not being super precise. Just kind of get some paint on the bare metal, and then I'll show you how to clean it up in a second. This corner here is so bad with bare metal, I'm basically just trying to seal that bare metal so that it doesn't start rusting and also it's not as noticeable. Now, the proper way would be to totally sand this area and repaint it but once you get into this much sanding so much bare metal I mean you're gonna end up with a line where you paint it and they recommended painting the whole thing so this is kind of just masking the rock chips sealing them so that they are not gonna rust luckily these haven't started to rust if they had there would be a lot of sanding involved uh, and some of the tips do recommend sanding around the little spot but look at how many I have like there's no way I can sand each individual little one and blend it and by the time I sand all of them and then paint it I'm gonna have a big difference in paint color so this is a little way to get paint into the rock chips and not on the rest of the paint and I'm gonna show you that right now using this bigger brush I'm gonna kinda liberally apply or generously you know apply this paint now this was super sketchy at first I was like there's no way that this is going to go well. It's going to probably just leave me with a big white glob on my paint. But the trick is, get some on there, get it in the rock chips, and it's okay if it's messy, but you got to wipe it off before it completely dries. You got to let it get tacky to where it sticks to the bare metal, but then you got to rub it all off and get it off of the rest of the paint, or you're going to have these gnarly brush strokes. It's just going to look terrible. And I had it. I let it dry a little bit too much because I started to get carried away and doing too big of an area. So you want to stick with a really small area so you can keep an eye on it because once you let this dry, it's on there. You're going to need it to be sanded off and that's what we're trying to avoid here. So it takes about a minute. I'm kind of going to talk you through it. I don't want to like cut so you don't know how much time it is. But by the time you uh, put some on your brush, get it on there, you get your rag ready, make sure you got some mineral spirits on it. You're going to want to just super lightly just start rubbing it off. And you can see I'm leaving some behind there, but most of it that's left behind will be in the rock chips. Now if it starts to dry, like the harder, you have to put more pressure in it if it's more dry. It just kind of depends. And if it's too dry and you start really scrubbing it, you're going to pull all the paint out of the rock chip. But if it's just dry enough to get down in there you can see these are now like a white and off-white instead of this bright metal color now a couple times of doing this you can get the desired look but as you start doing it if you put another coat on before this is totally dry it's gonna pull that off so you have to just kind of work it and do a little bit of area at a time and by your by the time you're done with the whole section if you got some really dark gray you know spots here and there from the the bare metal underneath you can go at it again. So I'm going to keep working on that and we'll see how this uh, this piece turns out. I got a little too much paint on my brush here. I'm going to stay kind of on this lower bit at first. Work my way up. You really want to make sure the paint is fully in all these rock chips. Let's see here. See I got my rag here to catch any drops of paint because I don't want I've got black uh, running boards and I don't want an obvious overspill or you know drop of paint on there so nice and thick on there look how sloppy that is like that you think that's gonna never look right but 
the back turned out pretty good you wipe it off when it's just barely starting to get tacky and you get some on your on your rag there but it leaves behind just enough paint to turn those bare metal rock chips into painted rock chips still not perfect but looks a lot better now that's about enough time Let's see this rags pretty dry I'm gonna try to get it off before it starts to dry too much you can see it's coming off pretty well if you wait any longer than that though sometimes it won't it just kind of depends on how thick you put it on and how like close to being dry the paint already was on the brush I know this looks super like sketchy and uh, not the best technique but I was kind of running out of options I went to multiple places and nobody was saying that they could do anything about these rock chips aside from repainting my whole truck I was like well what if you just did you know a two-tone type of paint job where you just painted this whole lower section but they were convincing me that there would be a hard line that wouldn't look right you'd have to put like a pinstripe over it or something and this platinum is meant to be solid white it wouldn't look right with uh, a different color or just that line there but I don't know if you can see that it's starting to look a little better I'm gonna keep working my way up and you can see as I hide this whole section here it'll hopefully turn out looking like the back and just have a little bit of white speckles here and there instead of these dark bare metal ones I just smeared some paint all in this area I feel like a kindergartner or something how messy this looks but so far it's been coming off pretty nicely we'll see if I can continue to have somewhat success with this I'm not leaving it on long at all I'm just super light if you overlap a little like where you had just done it'll like I said peel off the paint in the spots that you want it to stay so you gotta be careful of that I think I've let this on a little bit too long I'm starting to have some issues I gotta put a little elbow grease into it and you want to check this in different lights and stuff too you want to use light from your phone some sunlight everything different angles to make sure you don't leave any paint strokes behind or big globs of paint because it'll be super noticeable um, in the sunlight you see here on this one I kind of just glob some on there uh, that kind of works too but you'll kind of find that it ends up coming off pretty easily because it's so thick it takes all of it off and uh, it's easy to forget that you did that little spot versus this big area here is a little bit more obvious and you just kind of keep working at it until it all comes off so that's somewhat of my first coat for this section here I'm gonna try to address this and then hopefully this will be dry enough that I can get some more paint into these bare spots here my GoPro just fell over and spilled a considerable amount of the paint so that's exciting but hopefully I won't need too much this part's like probably the worst there's so much bare metal on this forward edge of the door I got some paint on that forward edge I'm just gonna dab some all along here see it really doesn't want to get down in there you gotta kind of force it into the little crevices of the chips and then kind of wipe it smooth enough that it'll wipe off without taking the what's down in the chip with it because wherever it's thick it's going to dry slower this looks ridiculous freaking Bob Ross out here working on his truck let's decide maybe there's a happy tree evergreen tree he lives right there start with just touching the canvas use just the corner of the brush just the corner and begin pushing making the bristles bend slightly downward Alright, now I need to hurry up, start wiping that off before 
it's too dry. Oh, found some dirt in the rag. Definitely want to use a clean rag, but I've been using this one all morning. Yeah, see there, I kind of got carried away and did too big of an area. Now it's not wanting to come off, so get some mineral spirits on there. It's still going to be hard with the mineral spirits if it's a little bit too dry. And then you're just going to have to rub the heck out of it. And a lot of times you'll rub all the paint out of your rock chips. So got to get the timing just right or else you'll have a big glob of paint on your on your door or you'll uh, end up right back where you started with bare metal just got this area finished up didn't come out quite as good as the back but pretty happy with it don't have any more bare metal but the way the sun is hitting this front bumper right now look at how fresh this looks it is a pretty solid match you can see there's a lot of metal flake uh, the metallic, you know, look in this, um, you know, fender here, but the bumper is so clean, it just looks awesome, but I still think the color is matched perfectly, I don't know what y'all think, there's a little bit of shadows on here, but man, the sun is hitting this bumper just right, it looks awesome. Alright guys, the GoPro memory was full, so I had to stop filming for a little bit, but I think y'all got the gist of the technique. I'm putting it on heavy and then wiping it off while it's still tacky and hopefully it'll stay in the rock chips. I went ahead and finished all the parts behind the tire, so as we saw the first one I did, looks pretty solid. Pretty excited about how that one came out. Uh, no complaints there really. And then uh, moving forward here. This one's not quite as clean, but it's still, you know, I got white rock chips, kind of same scenario. And from a distance before, you could really see the gray bare metal showing, and here it's blended pretty well. If you look close enough, you can see the texture in it, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I will go over here and I'll show you the other side. Same situation here. It's not great, but there's no more bare metal. It's all sealed up in there. And I left this one chip here that I want to show y'all real quick how I'm going to do that since it's such a big chip. I had a little bit different technique there. And then I also finished up this back corner. Not too bad back here. Um, and I removed again that paint protective film. And uh, we got a nice finish there underneath that. And I tried to match this best I could. Obviously we got craters but you know it's nice and fresh and white. And we don't have all that bare metal showing anymore. So y'all let me know if I helped it at all or if I should just have gotten the whole truck repainted and, you know, or at least called it good and not even done anything about it. But I think this helped some and at least protected it from your rusting. So my technique for bigger rock chips like this is just to try to only get paint on the bare metal. I know that's pretty obvious, but you don't want any brush strokes here and I'm just trying to fill in the hole. And I will give that a little bit. Might have put a little too much on. I'm going to blow on it a little bit. If I can't get it where I want it, I'll just wipe it off and start over. That's what I ended up with on that big chip. Now it's not beautiful, but I got rid of that piece of bare metal there. So you can't really notice it from distance. That's all I could really achieve here with uh, the supplies I have. Probably could have sanded that one, but you know that worked out just fine. Alright guys, I hope that gives you an idea of a last ditch effort to make this truck look a little bit better. Those rock chips were the last thing that was really bothering me about it, aside from these little tires. So, as some of y'all know, I got some tires on the way. Y'all guess down below what size and what wheel I'm going to be putting on here. But, I think it looks a lot better. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to call that good. You know, it was much easier than getting the whole thing repainted on my wallet. But, it did take all day and 
it's still not perfect but I think it looks a lot better so I hope this helped y'all if y'all were dealing with the same issue but I think they rode uh, down the street on like some fresh pavement that had just been laid or something and it was sticking to the tires and slinging really bad or something because this was really bad and that fresh uh, road paint on the side leads me to believe they were driving through some construction like every day to get it that bad but it looks a lot better and it just kind of goes to show you even a truck this nice could be a project it's not a build or anything by any means but you know I negotiated the price because it had some issues and I'm addressing them and I think it's gonna be really nice when I'm done with it thank you all for watching